price sign of that area, okay. which is within Oriole Seco Neighborhood Council. So that's in, that's in their jurisdiction? Yes. Okay. So definitely this item here, basically they would send their area of responsibility. But in actuality, we could also say, hey, you know, maybe it'd be a nice idea to collaborate with them on the same thing. We want to set aside this area's open space. Yeah. Okay. Any further questions regarding this issue? Thank you very much. Cool. So Thanks. we'll report back next month. Please, thank you very much. <coughs> okay. Okay. Time set aside. We're already at the seven, close to seven o'clock hour. Um, if say we get to a seven thirty mark, I'll make a motion in that time period to to bring it up at that point. But I would like in my original email request was at least thirty minutes of time to discuss the item. So if we could go back and go through the rest of the agenda item in order, then being that we're on the agenda, I will see at seven thirty whether we can revisit that item at that time. So that way it's giving a good fair amount of time. I'll make the motion here to rejoin the agenda in the original original order. Back to number no actually go back to number three. And so what? Order to the my motion is to revert back to the orders of the day. Do we need a second? Yeah. A second. Yeah. We have a second on that? Okay, Jorge. So we move to item 6A4. No, 6A3. Uh, Go ahead. How about five? Yeah. No, we still got three. 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 Yeah, that's part of another two. Right. That's uh, what three. We got three, three. three, so this that's what I was saying. We need to go back to three. Okay. So review of the January twenty second and April eleventh, two thousand thirteen minutes. Madam Chair, for the record, since I was not on the committee at this time period, I will abstain from this item. But I will make a recommendation, being with judging from the attendance on this meeting, that Mr. Marquez and Mr. Garcia uh, 
the people who were at this meeting are the ones who are probably the best in life. Better remember this. this. You remember this? <laughs> so, so I, I believe that's for you and myself. I I mean, Just like you do in a general meeting. The details. We, if we weren't there at the meeting, we have to think about it. On it. So 
motion to motion the line of the table. Is there any somebody else to make a motion? Motion that the LA motion to approve the minutes for January 22nd, 2013. I, you know, at this point, I, I don't see why we would live in mind. I am leaving. Second, 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 yes. You're second, mm -hmm. so we're going to approve the January. No, we're going to take a vote. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to vote for it, right? Vote. Yeah. So you want to wait down? Oh, we got a mic. What, what's wrong with it? This is recording. Yeah, this is recording. recording. What's the recording? What's the recording? Huh? What's the recording? I don't have it. Is there anybody? I've read this nine months ago. Somebody there. I just don't see. I don't see that I'm remembering any more than I do right now next month. I know. So I don't know. <sighs> oh, you think it's a little bit here. Let's discuss it on our own. No, no, separately, I think. So can we? We can. We have a second. Oh, okay. okay. We yeah. have a second to. Can we take a vote? All in favor and signify by saying aye. So I'll raise your hand. Who's voting? Who's ready to vote? The motion's already been seconded, so the vote, the, the calling for the question, calling for the vote. Mm -hmm. Oppose? Abstention? I'm going to abstain. I don't know. Zero, it's too far. Zero, three. The motion is not Let's bad. move on. Um, but we also have the uh, minutes for now. April. April 11th. So now I remember this one. Thirty 
whichever comes first. Do I have a second? Second? Do I have a second for his motion? Thank you. You can't vote that. Okay. So now we're going to move to item 6A4. Identification, commercialization of property. Now this motion was brought forth by a stakeholder and uh, Mr. Tom Williams, can you please give us some information in regards to that so we can better understand the issue. Okay. Uh, Tom Williams. The basic element is that the planning department is going to be changing in the next few months. Uh, they'll probably be merged with a couple of other departments. Minimum of building and safety and planning and all of the fire department plan checking will go over to the new organization. One of the issues that will come up is that uh, they want to increase densities. One of the things that I've seen over the last 20 some odd years is the differences between our development in El Sereno, that is on Huntington Drive and Valley and Alhambra versus that on Figueroa over in Highland Park. Uh, one of the questions is whether we want more commercial development, more multi residential units, multifamily residential units within the corridor that would be talked about as being Huntington Drive or Eastern or Alhambra Avenue or Valley Boulevard. So uh, my say Valley Boulevard is pretty much commercial all the way right now except in University Hills and a little bit in um, uh, Hillside Village. So rather than waiting for the city to start playing around with us, one of the questions was, do we want to start playing around now before they get themselves organized and start putting it in uh, to affect from the top down? And let's go bottom up. So I proposed a uh, motion. Uh, there's some minor corrections uh, word usage and phrases. Are you making a friendly amendment to your hmm? motion as well? Yeah, it could be modified by friendly agenda amendments. After family residential zoning areas take out uh, to cover all lands so that it just reads zoning areas within LA 32 neighborhood council areas to cover all lands within 500 feet. That's roughly one block, one long block from here. That is, starting from the alleyway out, another uh, probably about 300, 400 feet, that is until the end of the block, it would be zoned either commercial or multifamily residential. So, and then uh, to cover all lands within 500 feet of major arterials, uh, delete within LA 32 neighborhood council area. That's just redundant. So, uh, rather than waiting for somebody else to set policy for us, I thought that it would be wise for LA 32 neighborhood council to start dealing with the issues as do we want more commercial development? Do we want more multifamily dwellings? in the areas that are traditionally, uh, might say, high pedestrian volume. Again, we support the MTA bus 78 and 79. Without us, they wouldn't exist, really. So we have some leverage. It would perhaps change LADOT's image that you know we're here to suffer whatever they visit upon us and that we should be getting the signals rephased so that in the morning we can get on to Huntington Drive in the same fashion that others So that's motion four. Thank you, Mr. Williams. I agree with you that we need to have I'm going to read the motion that, that Mr. Tom Williams presented. I'm going to read it and then we're going to ask 
Okay, so we're going to. Check this one just. Yeah. Start it again. All right. He has to lobby one of these guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's a stand, by the way. You don't want to deal with it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and so now the public comment was that the public that was here to make comments in regards to that issue. Thank you. Should make yeah. Thank you. All right. Let's move on to item six. I don't need to vote. I can just continue. Five. 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 Six. 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 So you're making a motion to postpone these two items? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. I think that we, I, I think we should have a discussion, but uh, so you can we make a motion. Table. 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 Some other time period, or you specify that they, they don't want to deal with it. My motion is considering that six. Motion on the floor is that motion 6A D be postponed to a future hearing. There's future meeting. Uh, all in favor of the motion as stated, signify by raise your hand. Opposed? Opposed. Abstention? 301. Item 6A B is postponed. We are Silver Bridge would be six. What happened to you? So We're going to go back to 7.30. This is discussion, uh, Mr. Garcia, the Soto Street Bridge letter of support. Well, I'm talking to, to the engineers, and they, they notified me that they didn't have their support from the Liberal Council. There's nothing there on file in terms of how the Liberal Council feels about the bridge. So I'm, I'm asking to see if we could get them to oppose it because as I've researched, a lot of things that haven't been addressed for this, for this project that need to be addressed because it's, it's going to affect the community in a, in a big way. So um, I'm not sure if last year they had a vote or what happened with the vote or if they voted at all. They don't have it on file, so. Are you making a motion on this particular item? Well, I don't know if, it's, if, it's a, uh, if there was ever a vote for this, for this support of this bridge or not. First of all, it's already been. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. That's your. Where's he at? If, if, if there's a letter of support for this bridge project from the NC, because there isn't one on file for the engineer, we're engineers for the bridge uh, project. Because if there isn't one, I want to get one against this. <laughs> the motion is that there isn't any um, letter of support that we should make letter of support against the bridge project. Madam Chair, I have a motion that we ascertain whether a letter has been formally first of all, yeah. produced against the project and that a report on that be made at the next meeting for further further resolution. See, and the motion was made. No, he made a motion. Right. Who's going to second? Everyone won't agree with that. I agree with him. Okay. Now you open a discussion. They go first. Do I have any comment, public comment regarding this item? Could I submit one later? I'm gonna go away with that. Okay. The, the the only discussion I have with the hazard bridge is this. Um, the 
My concern is this. The what are the ties between destroying the Soto Bridge and expanding Soto Street? Um, could they, if, if, if the bridge stays the way it is, would that prevent them from expanding Soto Street? And if that is the case, maybe we should take an opposition to it just because we should be fighting uh, for the preservation of the park. That's my comment. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, I have a feeling in my gut that if the bridge is destroyed, it would further allow the city to expand Soto Street, make it into a boulevard, and make an incursion into the park. And just for that reason, in and of itself alone, I would request the neighborhood council to propose the uh, destruction of Soto Street Bridge. But I need to know if that's the case. Maybe you could ask the city if there's a direct tie-in between the reconstruction of the bridge and the expansion of Soto Street. And that's all one project. Can I comment on that? That's it. It's my um, I, we're still doing public okay. comments. So. Um, I would also like to request the neighborhood council to write a letter in stopping the project. I know that the neighborhood council voted in favor of it. There's no letter that um, the, the engineers department showing that. However, my request would be to stop the project for now. Don't destroy the bridge. I think environmental and um, impact reports need to be done before. They have, those reports have not been um, conducted. And it's a project that's being piecemeal. One project is the Soto Street Bridge admission. Then you have the Soto Street Widening. And then you have the Soto Street Bridge over Valley. And then you have all these developments going on at USC. So there is an environment, environmental impact if you, if you uh, look at all the projects that are going on. 